Hey guys, how's it going? We are so glad you tuned in tonight for our live stream. Uh, we have an excellent service plan for you guys. It's going to look a little bit different tonight, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, first off, before we jump right in, you should have gotten a text message, maybe a DM from us or an email with a link to a Zoom call that we were going to do directly after this service. Make sure you follow that link. If you just happen to not get that link or you did, you did, we didn't have your phone number or something like that, just send us a DM right now send it to us right now and we'll send you that link because we want to talk to you guys we want to interact with you and just see how you're doing how you're holding up um but now but uh before we jump into the message we're going to play a game real quick and it's called what's in the box what's up guys we are about to play what's in the box what's in the box what's in the box, what's in the box? so these guys obviously don't know what's in the box. What's in the box? My lovely Shelby assistant, whatever, is going to go ahead and place <laughs> our first item in the box. Round one. Okay, go ahead and turn around and go ahead and stick your arms in there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it scared me because, it, oh, it's, it's sticky. It's oh. kind of. Is this just like slime? I think, I think it's, yeah. it's slime. Oh yeah. I think it's, is it? That's that nasty slime. Is it just slime? slime? Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's slime. Round two. <laughs> okay, you guys can turn around. Oh. I feel a hand. No, 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 that's it feels, me. That's it feels me. like, this oh. This is it, this is it. Oh. That. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, you know what this is? <laughs> Unfortunately, I know what it is. I have no idea what this Dude, is. Come on. I feel a little feel tail. I feel a tail on it. You know what it is. I don't want to say it. Oh, I know what that is. Do we have to say it? Do we have to say it? Yeah. yeah. It starts with a T and ends with uh, Amp 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 <laughs> That is round three. We have our next item. You guys can turn around. All right. Here we go. In the box. Oh. Oh my god. What is that? What? It's like a it's like a hot dog when you're cut in half. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like is, a, is that yeah, 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 it's a hot dog that's just been split into it's been split in, in half. Because I have a half. I'm actually very familiar with this because the kids eat their hot dogs like this. Just know parents, it's a hot dog split in this two. can keep your kid from choking. Round four. Yeah, you don't boil hot dogs. Okay. That's against the rules. Cannot do that. It's got to be on the grill. Okay, guys. You guys can turn around. All right. Oh, that's hair. That's is that a baby? <laughs> I don't know whose hair. Is it hair. real? Surely not. You took it from me. I can't find it anymore. Oh, is there, oh, oh. That's, that's hair. Real that's hair. definitely hair. I don't like, know where you found this hair. Round five. Is this, how many more rounds do we have? All right, guys. Oh, this one must be bad. They've done that Shelby's every laughing. time, though. They just laugh. They just laugh. Oh. If it was a rat trap, I would be upset. No, I have it. If it's it a, a, it's a, it's an excavator. I'm an excavator. See, I'm an excavator. Round six. Okay, this is our, our prized possession. Oh, wow. Shelby. <laughs> Oh. oh my gosh. No, no way. It's like a garden spider. All right, guys. I saw y'all playing in the grass earlier, and I know it's. Exactly All right, what guys. Is. I'm not putting my hand in that. You box. have to. No, I'm not. You have to. No, no you have to. I'm not. People of the world, listen. <laughs> I'm not putting my hand in that box. I'm not either. You have to. For the first to. time, I don't care what's in the box. I don't. I don't care. Y'all are sore it. losers. I don't like it. Whatever's and in I'm this box. I'm not touching it. Whatever's in this box. <laughs> it's, it's not big. worth it. It fell on the floor. Is it a praying mantis? It. It's a lizard. It's a lizard. It's just a lizard. Do you want to touch it? No. Touch it. It might be a spider. It's not a spider. It's not a spider. It's not a spider. It, I swear, it, it's not a spider. Is it a bug? No. No. I'm so freaked out. I have never been so nervous in my life. What is it? Dude? Is this what Fear Factor feels like? 
<laughs> Corey, you have to put your hand dude, down. What's that? You Did I to touch it? No, you didn't. Corey, put your hand down in there. What's that? I touched something. <laughs> <laughs> no. What is that? <laughs> that is a huge <laughs> lizard. Oh my, gosh. oh my gosh. And they do bite. Have you seen those lizards? They're like little dragons. Dude, find that out. Those are super fast. Oh my God. Oh my. Hey guys, I'm so happy that you decided to hop on tonight for Reckless Student Service. We are so glad that you decided to tune in and hear from God's Word as we start a brand new series called Happy Easter. Yes, that's right. Easter is Sunday. It doesn't feel like it should already be April. It feels like last week we were celebrating New Year's, but it's April. Here we are. Yes, it's Easter. For months and weeks, we as a church have been planning and preparing what is Easter going to look like? How are we going to celebrate on Sunday morning with our church? Even Walmarts and Targets and, and grocery stores are, are decorating and preparing for Easter. And I think if we could all agree on one thing about Easter, no matter if you grew up celebrating it or you didn't, Easter is a happy time, right? I mean, just think about it. There's so much candy everywhere that is just there for you to eat. Well, you have to buy it and then you get to eat it. And it's like, it's okay to eat the candy because it's Easter candy, right? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it out there. I think that Reese's peanut butter Easter eggs are better than regular Reese's cups. I'm just saying, I think they are. Pastel colors are the hype right now, right? If you're wearing pinks, baby blues, and greens, you are on point, right? Where four months ago at Christmas time, those colors maybe didn't make a lot of sense. Also, we like dyeing eggs, right? We take those hard-boiled eggs, dip them in the water, put the color on them, and do the little designs on there with the white crayons. And you're like, ooh, look at that. I did a zigzag. Like, that's what we do. Me and Kaylee love doing that. We do it every year on Easter. But there's one thing that I think we need to talk about about Easter. Yes, Easter is a happy time. It's fun. Yay, candy, bunny, yes. But the pictures where your mom and dad make you dress up and go sit with a massive Easter bunny, all that just for an Instagram post. They're risking their child being permanently scarred by this scary, terrifying Easter bunny for a picture. I mean, look at these poor kids. They seem terrified. And now, yes, those pictures are hilarious. They are terrifying, but they're hilarious, right? Easter is mostly a fun holiday. And while your parents hopefully won't make you go sit with a giant Easter bunny this year, we can all relate to those kids and what they were feeling. Scared. We all know that fear can take away our happiness almost as fast as anything. When we were little kids, we were probably scared of things like monsters underneath our beds losing our favorite toy, the dark, which I'm still not a fan of, or getting hurt while out on the playground. And as we've gotten older, those fears have likely changed into failing classes, being rejected by friends or a crush, not making a team. High schoolers, you could be scared about not getting accepted into that college that you've been dreaming of or, or what your future career holds after school. Whatever your particular fear is, it's very real to you. The reality is that fear is on the rise and that fear is the determining the direction of a lot of our lives. If we boil it down, there could be one fear that we probably all have or at least thought about once, death. Now, hang on. I know you're probably thinking, wow, that took a really dark turn really quick. But I'm not just talking about physical death. I mean, the end of something. For example, we could be afraid of being our true self that could cause our current friends to not like us and end our friendship. Or we could have some secrets that get busted or found out that could end other people's perfect image of us. But this is where Easter steps in, right in the middle of our fear of death. You may have heard before that Easter isn't just about eggs and candy and a creepy oversized bunny, but instead it's about the man named Jesus, how he came to this earth, died on a cross for our sins, and then rose from the grave three days later. That is what Easter is all about. It changed everything, especially the life of a man named Paul. 
Paul is one of the most famous Christians in history. Before he was a follower of Jesus, he spent years trying to scare Christians away from their faith, using death as his ultimate threat. But then he met Jesus. The guy who once threatened Christians became the greatest missionary of all time. He was shipwrecked, imprisoned, threatened, beaten, and bitten by a venomous snake. But he kept on going because he was so passionate about people understanding the significance of Jesus's death and resurrection. Paul's life was constantly in danger. In fact, he was actually killed for his faith. Paul wrote a letter to the church in Corinth. He reminded people that Jesus died and came back to life three days later. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 54 and 55, he writes, death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your sting? It's like Paul is taunting the very idea of death. He reminds them that Jesus has defeated death when he died and rose again. And that means because of the resurrection, death can no longer defeat us. The power that death has over our relationships, reputations, future, hopes and dreams, and even our physical bodies is gone thanks to what Jesus did on Easter. After Jesus was hung on a cross and placed in a tomb, it seemed like humanity's greatest fear had come true, that death was the ultimate thing to fear. But when Jesus rose again, it proved that even the power of death wasn't strong enough to overcome the power of Jesus. This is why Paul was able to live in such a way that he didn't fear death. The things we fear don't have the same power that Jesus does. Paul trusted that the fears that he faced were no match for the power of the resurrected Jesus. In other words, Easter means that fear is not final. If Jesus can defeat death, he can defeat the things that we're afraid of too. Fear thinks that it will get the final word, that it will win. It will try to convince you that you're not good enough. You'll never find a purpose and that your life isn't worth it. Fear will try to make you listen and obey it. But fear is only powerful if it can convince you that it has the final word. See, Jesus defeated death itself, showing us that nothing we fear is bigger than him. Fear does not get the final say, no matter what we are afraid of. And now you may say, well, just because Jesus defeated death doesn't mean I have to not be afraid of anything. I mean, I'm still anxious, depressed, and terrified of what's ahead in my life. I get it. I understand. Even if fear doesn't get the final word, there are still things that we may fear, real big things. And there's not a guarantee that something you're afraid of won't happen. But it does mean that you are more equipped to handle those things than you may think you are. Paul says in Romans chapter eight, verse 11, the spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. Paul is saying the same power that raised Jesus from the grave and defeated death lives in each and every one of us. That means fear doesn't get to tell you what to do. So let me ask, where has fear been holding you back? In your friendships? Dreaming big about your future? going to college, doing something you sh should do no matter what it does to your reputation or actually exploring your faith because up to this point, you've kind of been afraid of how that might affect your life. What step should we take to prove that fear doesn't have power over us? Because with Jesus's help, we can take those steps. Does that mean forgiving someone? apologizing to somebody, talking to your school counselor, maybe talking to your parents about something you've never spoke to them about before, maybe picking a new friend group that could be better for you because the people you surround yourself with is very, very important. If you surround yourself with the wrong people, you will continue and you will go in a wrong direction. 
or asking the questions that you have about Christianity. I don't know what you fear, but I do know if you are someone who believes that Jesus defeated death and you follow him, then you have his power inside of you. No matter what fear is thrown at you, either it's a big fear or a small fear, no matter what fear it is, keep in mind that you have the same power living in you that raised Jesus from the grave. Hey guys! We are so happy and thankful that you guys decided to tune in to Reckless Student Ministry live stream tonight. We hope you enjoyed that hilarious game um, that we did, and we hope you enjoyed that wonderful message that Corey spoke on as well. Um, I wanted to remind you guys that we are about to hop on a Zoom call just to just to catch in with you guys, catch up, see what's going on, and just to talk and see what's going on in your life. So don't forget to send us your number if we don't have it, and then we can tune in with you on that. Yeah, and we're super excited um, for Sunday because that's going to be Easter. We're really sad that we can't be here with you um, and that we can't be with our family, our church family. But we're so excited and so blessed that we have um, this way of talking to you guys and you guys can watch us and we can just be with each other um, even through this time. And so we just hope you guys have a great Easter. Um, we're going to have a live cast on Sunday morning and that's going to be at 10 o'clock. And you can go to YouTube or you can go to Connections Church Facebook page. So definitely come and watch that. Um, send that to your friends, to your family. Invite lots of people to watch it um, and share the love of Christ with everyone. We love you guys. We miss you so much. And we hope the best for you.